friends, I am Dr. Adhesh Singh and I welcome you to Adhesh Academy. Friends, if we look at the present civilized modern world, this world seems to be full of negativity. You open the morning newspaper, watch any television program and you see only negative things all around. There seems to be a lot of corruption, a lot of crime and a lot of bad things happening all around and which actually, you know, uh, make us think that whether any good things are left in this world or not. We develop negativity and that negativity is very very dangerous. How to get rid of that negativity is start thinking positivity so we can achieve success in our life, happiness in our life rather than you know getting anxious, worried and you know suffer from the negativity of this world. So I am going to deliver the lecture today how to handle negativity. Now the first and foremost important thing you have to understand is the negativity is a natural thing just like a positivity. Just like you have day, you have night. If we compare negativity with darkness then positivity can be compared with light. So in our world suppose that there is only day and day and day, there is no night at all. Can we live happily? No. Just like day has to be followed by night, the night or two also has to be followed by day. So negativity becomes a problem when there is a total absence of positivity or the positivity is very very less. When the night becomes very long then your life becomes very very difficult. So this is one thing we have to understand. We can also think about negativity as something like a red light on a traffic crossing. Now the red light has its purpose because it tells you to stop so that other people can cross. Now imagine that you remove the red light from the uh, crossing, then what happens? If you have only green light, then people will try to cross each other and there will be a jam. The red light and the green light are complementary to each other. If you remove the red light, the green light becomes useless because it is as good as not having a green light at all. And the red light serves a purpose because it tells you when to stop. In the same way, the negativity is important because it tells you what is not to be done. And therefore, negativity is important, but just like if the traffic is having only red light, it is dangerous. Same way, if the negativity is too much, then also it is very, very dangerous. So we have to understand that negativity has to be managed in the right proportion rather than trying to think that there will be no negativity at all, because that is impossible thing. Now, how to become positive in the world which is full of negative that we have to see. Now in order to handle the negativity, the first important thing is that you have to see the goodness or the positive side of the world than the evil. Now let us say that you read a news of a crime where somebody has killed another person. But you have to understand that there are 99.9% .9 of the people who have never committed a murder in their life. They don't kill people. Only one in a million person commit this crime. And you don't remember the millions of people who are following the law and not committing any crime. So you have to see the positive side of that and try to see the goodness rather than the bad thing. Second important thing is that you must learn to appreciate rather than criticize. You see criticizing is very very easy because you can criticize anybody whether he is a prime minister, whether he is a great scientist or even God, you can criticize. Because why we criticize? Because when we criticize somebody, we feel that we are better than them. So it's like making somebody smaller to raise your status. But actually, it is only a psychological thing. Because when you put somebody down or paint somebody black, then you also get some taint of black color on your face also. And therefore, you have to understand that criticizing does not serve much of a purpose. We must also see the good side of the person and everybody is having a plus side and minus side and if we appreciate the goodness of the person then naturally we will get goodness inculcated in us also. The third important thing is that we should focus on living rather than thinking about the death or the negative side or the illness or other side. You see we are living and we should try to live to best of a moment. The problems will come, everybody has to ultimately die, everybody sometime will fall sick, everybody will get old. But when you are uh, young, when you are uh, healthy, then you must think how to live the life rather than worrying about the negative side or old, become old or like that. So this is important. 
the fourth important thing is that you should focus on love rather than hatred you see the hatred is a very very dangerous poison while it is okay that sometime you hate somebody who is doing a bad thing but if that person occupies a lot of space in your mind then it is very very dangerous you should love the people you should love yourself and you should love the world as such by focusing the good people and there are so many good people all around you if you focus on the good people then you will find the world full of good people and if you focus on the bad people then you will your world will become very bad so instead of hating people you just love people by seeing their good qualities and once you start loving people then hatred will have no place in your mind or will have a very little place in your mind then next point is that we should think about winning rather than losing see when you are writing any competition when you are doing any venture when you are playing any game there is always a possibility of losing the game and there is always a possibility of winning the game but if you are thinking about the losing you cannot win when you are playing the game you should always think as to how you can win the game rather than how you are going to lose the game your focus has to be on winning try to see uh, cultivate all the qualities which are required for winning and once your focus is on winning the chances of winning become much much better and the chances of success also become much much better okay if you suppose lose also learn from that mistake and then try not to repeat the mistake so that your chances of winning become better in the next time then uh, next important thing is that if you want to remove the negativity from your side then you must focus on the friends rather than the enemies you will find many people who are just thinking the world as a conspirator as if everybody is conspirating against them as if everybody is trying to defeat them as if everybody is their enemy if your mindset is like that then it is very difficult for you to cultivate even friends because even in the good people even the people who are your well wisher you will be seeing a negative qualities i am sure that you will have some friends and there are some people who are very friendly to you if you rather think about those people who are your friends or the people who are friendly with you then you will find that your life will become bright and you will think about good things of life rather than the bad things of life finally you must try to focus on pleasure rather than pain you know the pain is very very painful if you have pain in your teeth then you cannot perhaps sleep in the night but we are always focusing on pain that is our tendency but the important thing is that you should also focus on pleasure how to you maximize the joy of your life how to cultivate the habits which will give you joy how to do things which will give you joy rather than trying to avoid the things which is going to give you pain because if you have more time thinking about the pleasure joy happiness then you will have less time to think about the pain and the pain if any is there in your body your mind that will have no place to stay and your life will become much much better so i hope that by this lecture you have been able to understand uh, if you want to get rid of negativity we have to cultivate positivity because just like light removes darkness in the same way the positivity removes the negativity and if you follow the lessons and focus on the seven habits which i have told you then naturally your life will be full of positivity and you can achieve anything in your life thank you very much for watching my video keep watching the video and keep sharing the thoughts with other people thank you very much